Hey guys, it's Janiksa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the latest Essie collection. This is the Essie Fall 2022 collection. I believe it is called Off the Grid. Now I know, I know it's still summer. I'm wearing a sleeveless shirt in this video to talk about fall collections. I'm not ready for fall yet, but we all know that come July, it seems like everything in the retail market starts to flip over to fall and nail polish is one of those items. Uh, the OPI fall collection should also be available soon. So we're starting to see a lot of the fall collections pop up. And yeah, the SE one is available on the Ulta Beauty website. That's where I got this set from. We have six polishes to look at. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, first up we have the namesake of the collection and this one is Off The Grid. This one is just described as a warm brown on the Ulta Beauty website. And honestly, we have seen a lot of Essie browns, neutrals, nudes, whatever you wanna call them. We've seen a lot of them lately and this collection has two more of them. So I am over all of these browns we don't need these many i'm not sure what se is trying to do here i'm thinking that maybe they're just trying to fill in some gaps you know where they're missing certain kind of tones and that's completely fine but it just has seemed like overkill honestly with these colors thankfully though they have been really really good formula wise so at least they are you know a really nice product Next up, we've got Risk Takers Only, and this one is described as a vibrant orange. It's a little bit odd to see an orange so bright like this in a fall collection. However, I do think it works. You know, in this color story, I do think it works. It has a beautiful formula. This is an easy two coat formula like butter. This one is not one of the ones that you could get away with in one coat. Almost all of the other ones you can but this one, I could still see my nail line. It had not, it wasn't a jelly, but it almost felt like a jelly on that first coat. Um, so this one is definitely a two coater. It has a really great formula, as you can see here. I really have no complaints about this one. I love orange polishes and I don't mind getting a ton of them in collections. So this one is a very, very pretty one. And yeah, I think you need it. Next up, we've got Force of Nature, and this one is described as a forest green. This one is a perfect, perfect polish for the fall, and I think even for the winter also. It's just, I mean, we all need a green like this. However, I'm not sure how unique it is. I mean, we probably all have a forest green already in our collection, so not sure how unique this one is. I haven't done comparisons yet, but if you have any in mind, let me know in the comments below and I will try to do some comparisons over on Instagram. And uh, yeah, the, the only one that comes to mind that could possibly be close is the Hollow Taco Monstera, um, but I haven't compared them, so I, I don't know for sure. Next up, we've got Hike It Up, and this one is described as a neutral tan. And this one is the one that we did not need in this collection. This one could have been a mustard yellow. I would have loved to see a different mustard yellow from Essie instead of this. We, why? Why do <laughs> we already have so many of these from previous collections this year? And even, I believe, from last year, towards the end of last year, they were also releasing a ton of neutrals. But uh, yeah, this one we did not need. I really, really would have loved to see a yellow from SE here. I think it was, it's kind of a missed opportunity because that yellow would have really rounded out this collection nicely. I, I'm kind of sad that they didn't go for it with a yellow. Next up, we've got Transcend the Trend, and this one is described as a muted teal blue. 
I feel like this one is going to be the star of this collection. It's an absolutely stunning polish. And this is a one coater, guys. Look at that complete coverage in just one coat. Of course, I did two coats because when I'm doing a regular manicure, I usually always do two coats. I never leave a manicure at just one coat. Even with, you know, polishes that are obvious one coaters, I just... I don't know, I don't feel like my manicure is complete unless I have a nice, you know, two coat manicure plus, you know, base coat, top coat. I just feel, it feels weird. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you feel the same way. Do you always have to do two coats on a manicure even if the polish is a one coater? And last but not least, we have Bold and Boulder. This one is a burgundy red. This one is absolutely stunning, and it has amazing coverage on that first coat. However, I would say that you still need that second coat just to add a little bit more depth. But of course, if you want a little bit of a lighter burgundy color, then this one is perfect in one coat for you, and it should be what you're looking for. But yes, to me, I definitely feel like you need that second coat just to you know add more depth to the color it just it's a beautiful classic fall color this one is really really gorgeous again a gorgeous formula i have really been enjoying essie's cream formulas lately and really yeah no complaints here for this one whatsoever And here we have them all together. Now, how gorgeous would a yellow have looked here, huh? There you have it, guys. Swatches of the brand new Essie Fall 2022 collection. What did you think of this collection? I enjoy the colors. They are all perfect for fall. Beautiful colors. Of course, all just a bunch of creams. Again, still wishing that we see more variety from Essie. I keep saying this in every video that I talk about Essie and I'm just gonna try to stop complaining about creams because it looks like they're not gonna change their ways anytime soon. So I'm just gonna have to start, you know, falling in love with the creams again, being super grateful for the creams again. So this is me trying, guys. Don't say I didn't try for you. <laughs> Overall, the collection is a beautiful one. The blue one, the orange, oh, those really stood out to me. I really, really enjoy wearing beautiful creams in the fall, and these will definitely be on my fall rack this year. Let me know what you guys thought of this collection. Are you picking it up? Are you bored? I, I want to hear from you in the comments down below. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.